Hi everybody, it's Molly with Occupational Therapy Students from Creighton and I thought today I would just do a short presentation on different adaptive kitchen tools that are available to you guys. Um, if you do find something you like in this PowerPoint, in the notes section um, of the PowerPoint I have the different links where I found the different tools. Um, I also have a Word document that went out with the email that has all the links as well. Um, and by no means is this an all-inclusive list. Uh, there are thousands of options out there um, and available to you guys. Uh, feel free to do your own research and find whatever option is best for you. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about are different cutting boards that are available. This is one of the things that there are so many different cutting boards available, just different, slightly different versions or completely different um, A and B, as you can see on the screen and the left in the middle are very similar. Um, they both have the raised sides on one of the corners for you can stick a sandwich in there and cut that. Um, they both have the little nails that stick up and you can put fruits or veggies on there to stabilize so you can cut. Um, it helps with one-handed cutting. Um, a retails for about $28 whereas B retails for about $34 so it's just a little bit more expensive. Um, but these two are both on the lower end of the scale for cutting boards. Um, see over here on the right side, it has the nails as well um, to stabilize fruits or veggies or whatever else. Um, but then it has this clamp and as you can see, you can stick the vegetable in there and slice and then slide it through as need be. I believe you can open it up enough to stabilize a sandwich if you need to in there. Um, however, this one's more on the expensive end. It can range from 80 to I believe $117. So it's a little bit more expensive. A um, couple more options. A over here on the upper left. It again is one of the more expensive options. It's about $109 to $120. Um, but it is really nice. As you can see, it has this dish here and then the lid that has a grate on top so it catches everything and you can grate one-handed if need be. Um, it has this uh, lid to cover the hole and on the back side it's flat so you can have just a normal flat cutting board if you want to um, or you can flip it over and it has the nails as well to stabilize if you need it. Um, B, C, and D are all the same. Um, it is one of the most affordable options. It is only $13 and as you can see the divots that divide it into or different squares it helps you fit your knife all the way to the bottom so you can cut all the way through the fruit or veggie and you don't have to sit and wiggle it at the end or try to tear apart um, and then the little targets in the middle help you fit different sizes as you can see a lemon or a little cherry tomato or, or grapes or whatever all right the next we're going to talk about different knives that are available there are quite a few different knives available a and b are both called rocker knives um, a is just a T grip, whereas B is the vertical grip. Um, a, I think prices to be about nine to fifteen dollars, whereas B is about nineteen to thirty dollars. Um, so depending on your ability and what you like best and what's comfortable for you, these are two different options. Um, C is just kind of a fun cheese cutter that I found. It's about ten to seventeen dollars. Um, it allows you to slice cheese one-handed. Um, so just make sure you have even slices. All right, utensils. This is where there are so many different options and um, before, you, if you need something before you pick one, research and see what is best for you. These are just um, a summary of what I know and what I found. So A over here, they're built up handles and I believe at the stem of the utensil you can bend it if need be. Um, if not, there are options out there where they are made to bend or come bent. Um, these are about $9 to $12 a piece, depending on the utensil you decide to get. B, this is just um, foam grip tubing, so it allows you to build up a handle um, without having to buy it already on the thing, and it allows you to move it from utensil to utensil or object to object, um, as you can see. There are a wide variety, and I believe for a pack of six, it's about, I think, 12 to $20, um, and you can use them as much as you want um, until they start falling apart or are too dirty to use again. But like I said, you can use them for utensils, pens, hairbrushes, um, toothbrushes, whatever you need. Um, so they're very universal um, grip. 
uh, C over here, this is a universal cuff. Um, some of you have probably used these before. Um, they have this little pocket here where you can fit the utensil um, or toothbrush, hairbrush, um, whatever you need. They're about $10. Um, I know people have made them themselves, um, so that's an option as well. Okay, pot holders. There are not a lot of adaptive pot holders out there. Um, I have actually a couple of these and I use these. Um, they are wonderful for um, heating up something in the microwave. You don't have to worry about um, waiting till the glass or bowl cools down. Um, or if you have impaired sensation and you just can't tell, um, these are awesome. If you look in this left picture with the Chiefs one, there's a bowl that just fits nicely um, inside of it and then you just put it in the microwave, heat it up, and then when you grab the bowl out, you don't have to worry about being too hot. Um, it's also great if you need to set it in your lap at all, you won't burn your legs. Um, they are 100% cotton, the material, the thread, and then the padding in between must be 100% cotton for it to be microwavable. Um, these, these are all options available on Etsy. They can range from $5 to $18. Um, if you get a sports logo one, they're on the higher end. Um, as it, compared to if you get a generic pattern, those are um, usually the cheaper options. Um, or I know online there are patterns available. Um, I've personally made a few of these. Um, they're pretty easy. So if you or anyone you know sews, um, this is an option. Okay, so non-slip mats. There are quite a few options out there. Um, these are the main two um, that I know. So this is a, um, I believe it's called a tenure uh, non-slip pad. Um, it's about $54 to $58, um, but it's unlimited uses. You just clean it and use it again and use it under whatever you need to, um, like a cutting board, a plate, whatever. Um, this blue over B in the upper right is a uh, Dyson and it is a three foot roll and you just cut what you need. It's about $79, um, but whatever you, it will last you a long time because whatever you cut, you can just use it as much as you want until um, it doesn't stick anymore or it is um, too dirty to clean and then you just roll out and cut yourself a new one. Um, so those are good options for non-slip pads if that is something you're um, finding yourself having trouble with. Uh, plates. Uh, these are just two of the different plate options. Um, they both have the higher sides, um, uh, are easier for you to scoop um, if you're having problems with that. Um, C is about $10 a piece, whereas D is, um, I, believe, I believe this one's a little more expensive because it has a non-slip pad underneath, so it's about $34. Um, Whereas C, you'd probably want to put like Dyson or something underneath um, if you're trying to scoop and it keeps sliding on you. Um, but D, as you can see, does not have that. It's a little tilted and it has that non-slip pad underneath. Um, can or jar openers. Um, I know personally I have used this one in the middle B here. Um, I've tried them before. They are really nice. Um, there's ones that you can um, that stick to the top of like, or to the underside of a top cabinet, and you just stick the jar, and you can either use both hands if you need to, to open it, um, or close, and then, or just one hand if that's what you need. Um, you don't have to worry about trying to twist in different directions. Um, B here is, a, I think that's about $34 to $40. Um, back to A, so on the left side, this is an um, easy squeeze, and so it's a can opener, and you just stick of the can right here and then you just squeeze these two together um, until you go all the way around and then I believe this metal bar just pops up. You can pop it out and then pull the lid up. Um, that is about $18 to $24. Um, it is available on Amazon. Um, this one C on the far right is also available on Amazon and it is an electric can opener. So on the underside, you just attach it into the part of the can where you need to be, press this button on top, and once it goes around, um, you just press that button again, and then there's a little um, uh, grabber on the bottom side that you can lift up, and it will grab the can lit up for you. Um, this is about $20 on uh, Amazon. And there's, like I said, there's lots of different um, places that sell these things too. All right, so there's some other 
uh, fun little tools I found. Um, this one A is a peeler. It just attaches the countertop and then you can peel in this metal part right here. It's about 14 to 23 dollars. Um, B here in the middle and C are an oven rack push pull. Um, so this one on the and B, and picture B on the right side is one you can buy. Um, those ones I think on Amazon are about ten dollars, um, but they can have you have wood ones, silicone ones, whatever. Or as you can see, you can make your own um, using just a paint stirrer stick. Um, so if you have some lying around, just sharpie out these little nooks and then you can use it. Or I think on Home Depot or somewhere or Sherwin-Williams or any paint place, uh, you can buy like sets of like two or three or whatever and they're only like 98 cents. Um, so that's a very affordable option um, to use. Um, so that's all I have. So I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to listen and see. Um, like I said, this is not an all-inclusive list. There are so many different options out there for you guys. Um, so feel free to do research and find the one that best fits for you. If any of these options you really liked, um, like I said, in the PowerPoint um, that is linked with the email, there in the notes section, there's all the links available or in the Word document that went out, there are the pictures and links available as well. So thank you again for taking the time. I hope you guys learned something.